Greetings. Thanks for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog. I'm Pete Howard. We're doing a couple of 1960 Ray Charles concert posters today. And isn't this a beauty? Look at this. They're both from San Diego, by the way. We're starting with this one from the spring of 1960. And obviously, besides Ray Charles, it's a package show and just a beautifully designed poster. Uh, again, it's a tour blank. And the top part, Sports Arena and Tuesday, June 7, put in just for the San Diego show. But hit makers of 1960 in person, and I just love the way the Dayglo red-orange plays off the yellow. It's just a really an attractive poster. Ray, of course, is the headliner, um, and it's got several song titles on there playing his hit records, as you can see there below the Ray Charles name. What's funny is that it also says the last song title listed is Genius of Ray Charles. <laughs> that's not a song. Can you imagine him doing a song called that? No, that's an album name. But it's funny, I just have a feeling the typesetter for the poster just didn't distinguish between the two. But uh, as long as we're close in, might as well show the other artist. There's Ruth Brown. Uh, Deceived would go top 10 R&B hit for her, but it was her last charter, so her career was on the wane. The Drifters there in the middle, they had um, those two song titles, both really nice pop hits. Um, and they would go, uh, obviously, with this magic moment, and there goes my baby, and then they would go number one with Save the Last Dance for Me later this year. And there's Red Fox, the comedian. Am I on the right side to show Red? Nope, there's Red over there. Red Fox, the comedian. That's kind of funny. And you got, you know, Ray Bryant, right? I mean, I had to, frankly, look him up, but uh, Madison Time was a top 30, and what's interesting, beside that honking horn, is that Ray Bryant is the uncle of Kevin Eubanks, who led Jay Leno's Tonight Show band, so that's pretty neat. Um, Ron Holden there, he went, uh, you know, this is called the Hit Makers of 1960, and sometimes that's all they were. He went top ten pop with Love You So, and then had nothing else. And then you really get down to the bottom, where they don't even afford a picture. There's Billy Bland, who went top ten pop with uh, Let the Little Girl Dance, but nothing else, so that's, that's all he gets. Preston Epps is there in the center, right, with the bongo, bongo, bongo. He had a top 20 hit with Bongo Rock uh, the previous year, but this follow-up sort of stiff. So, anyway, it's just fun to sort of examine, you know, all the different artists on the posters and what their contribution was to the history of pop music. I'm afraid that's left uh, entirely up to Ray, although Ruth Brown and the Drifters, very much Rock and Roll Hall of Famers. So, staying in 1960, staying with Ray Charles, and staying with San Diego, we have this... Um, much different kind of Ray Charles only concert poster dedicated just to Ray and uh, as you can see it's from the Pacific Ballroom it's black and yellow dance show with um, you know the uh, the Ray Letts picture there which is pretty cool this is done by Colby poster company out of Los Angeles and um, it's interesting how the Ray Letts because it's a Ray only poster they get FaceTime which is not real common and uh, there they are, the backup singers. They had many personnel changes. I wouldn't attempt to name those three ladies. They had so many personnel changes. But, of course, as Ray Charles' biopic pointed out, the big movie that was so successful, they were sort of called the Ray Letts because to be able to get into the group, you had to let Ray. So the story goes, anyway, perhaps a folk legend, who knows. But, um, and once again, there are the song titles down there. It's funny, they're almost identical. Uh, I think there's just one switched out to the other poster I just showed you. And uh, this is, of course, um, right in the middle of the summer of 1960. And uh, in the fall, out would come Georgia, which would become Ray's signature song and sort of define his career. Although we had a lot of candidates for signature song, I think it's the one he's most known for, Georgia On My Mind. This, too, was made by the Colby Poster Printing Company in Los Angeles. San Diego people just used Colby up in L.A. Interesting, the Colby folks are still there. I visited them not too long ago, and they're still there. They don't have any old posters lying around, but they're still cranking out posters, and they're, they're nice people. So I'm going to say hi to the Colby folks on this one, okay? Okay, so there you have it, two Ray Charles concert posters from 1960, right in the prime of his career, not long after he had left Atlantic Records and joined ABC Paramount Records and really took, care, uh, took um, control of his own career. So thanks for coming by. Have a nice day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.